Step outside. A very good evening. Thanks everyone for beaming in wherever you are. I want to take this time to thank you all for being and blessing us at the Indigenous Ways concert series. Just before we kick off tonight, we want to acknowledge the traditional caretakers and ancestors of the lands that we reside on here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and also wherever you are beaming in from this moment, uh, acknowledging the traditional caretakers and ancestors of the lands, so we could all be here together. Thank you. And Indigenous Ways is dedicated to bridging cultural exchange with people globally. So we're really grateful for uh, all the performers, presenters, comedians, everybody that has come on. So we want to welcome everybody to our virtual event this evening. We will continue after tonight to have our Wednesday virtual events yeah. for the Wisdom Circle at six o'clock Mountain Daylight Time. And I wanted to thank everybody that has reached out to us uh, via email, text, chat box, and etc., etc. So this evening we are beyond excited yes. to have the one and only Redmilla Cody, who hails from the large Navajo Nation. I mean, the land is vast <laughs> where we come from. <laughs> and uh, Redmilla is a serious role model. Uh, she has done a lot with her life and she has dedicated her life to uh, remaining on the Navajo lands, raising a child, and promoting domestic, uh, advocating for domestic violence intervention um, and supporting services that empower the people. Redmilla Cody is very uh, respectful and honorable to our elders and holds them in great light and esteem mm. as our most important generation as our wise ones that know the stories from their grandfathers and grandmothers and their grandfathers and mothers and keeping that alive through oral traditions. And Red Miller has been blessed with a lot of the traditional songs and chants. Uh, so we are very, very honored tonight to have Red Miller Cody and we wanna thank Zoel for interpreting for us tonight. Thank you very much and let's give it up for Red Miller Cody. Woohoo! Yeah, greetings everyone. Uh, yeah, and Sago for having me uh, be a part of this um, wonderful Zoom performance with uh, Indigenous Ways. And um, I'm really glad to be here with everyone sharing this virtual space with each and every one of you. And Zoel, thank you very much <laughs> for joining me as well. And, and um, and using um, our beautiful sign language to our, our, our uh, relatives um, so that they could be our part of this wonderful, uh, this wonderful evening with each and every one of you. Uh, I would like to first introduce myself to you in the Navajo language, and then I will translate that for you in English. I am of the Red Ochre Cheek clan born for the African American. My maternal clans are of the Mexican clan and my paternal clans are of the African American. And this is how I identify myself as a woman from Loop, Arizona. And again, it is an honor to be here with each and every one of you. The first song that I would like to uh, share with you all is a song, is a protection we warrior song. And it is a song that, um, that is, is, is very, um, <clears throat> that is, it's, a, it's a song that is sung for our warriors. And right now with a lot of our, frontline warriors out there um, during this pandemic who are uh, delivering foods to our elders, to our children, to our people, um, to our relatives in need, to our doctors, right? Our doctors that are um, 
working around the clock to be there for, you know, to, to during, during this pandemic. Um, and, you know, um, all of the, um, like the EMTs. And so it's, it's it, you know, all of these frontline workers that are, that are out there um, during this pandemic for us. I just want to honor you with this song. And also even those of us right now, as we're home, um, using this opportunity, you know, to, to really reflect. I know I have, I've done a lot of uh, self-reflecting in, in terms of how we're moving forward. What, thinking really a lot about what does Native liberation look like for us? What does Black liberation look like for us? What does liberation look like even for Nahasan, Hima, Mother Earth, Yadda Father Sky? And what has been very healing uh, during this time is having, is having you know, been able to, to plant a corn field this year, um, to have our own field. And to um, and to spend time, you know, to to work with my the, to uh, teach my little one, you know, our language. Um, I mean, since he was born, that his first lang language in Navajo was Doda. He would, and he emphasized it. He had his own, he I would add his own little twist, you know, do 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 da, you know, and which means which interprets to no, because <laughs> he would hear that all the time from me. I would say no, 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 and. Um, and so, um, so using this, 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 this opportunity to, um, this time rather to, to really strengthen uh, that kinship, that eh, within our homes and still even with each, with, with each other as we, um, as we see a lot of our um, Black Lives Matter, you know, relatives, the movement um, and, you know, through that and then also even with um, our families, you know, as we're as we're home and we're we're becoming more connected, um, and also through even social media, uh, as we're putting that information out there. So a lot of us can't, you know, be out there uh, physically uh, to stand with a lot of our relatives who are fighting for the the injustices, um, social and environmental injustices. But we can still do our parts at home. Uh, by sharing, you know, uh, through social media and through our prayers and by educating ourselves. And this is a good opportunity to do that. And so with these songs that I share with you today, these are songs that, you know, that um, my uncle and I co-wrote together and some songs he wrote, uh, Dr. Herman Cody. But when you think about these songs, these, these are songs that have been our, our ancestors have been, have been singing, you know, for a very, very, very long time. And these are songs that have been passed on from generations, whether it's through the, you know, through, through the, the, the chanting itself or the words, the language, the language in itself, you know, is powerful, even through our songs, the language in itself is powerful through our, through our prayers. And, and, and that right there, you know, is what I know has, has helped me to get through a lot because I, my grandmother, uh, uh, she passed, she returned back to the House of Dawn uh, eight years now. And one of the things that she always stressed and emphasized to me is the importance of language. And for her, it was, you know, if I stumbled on my words, even just a, a little bit, she would say, hey, Hello, walla 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 the no yanstke eh darinek echiko yanstke ekut an ya hot at she would you know she would scold me and, and and she would get after me and say I don't ever want to hear you just saying walla 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 even if I'm saying walla 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 right now but <laughs> um that's what the English language sound like to her and she she would say I raised you to speak our our language you know our our language as Dine. And you will, you will, you know, always speak that language proudfully. And, um, and so now that I talk to my little one in, in, the, in, in Navajo, and he's helping me, you know, he's helping me to also remind, you know, remind me of, of um, some of the words that I've kind of forgotten, but even through learning how to read in Navajo, because I don't know how to read in Navajo, only my songs, but, um, you know, but in, in, in general, um, I just, I'm learning, I'm teaching myself through our Shema storytelling 
and, and so challenging myself even in that way. So the language in itself, I have always perceived even growing up as a biracial and how my grandmother instilled that in me as my shield. And it's something that has carried me through as a Dene Nahile, as a black and as a, as a black indigenous, black Dene woman, you know, in all my years to be able to continue to be very proud of who I am and where I come from. And this is and these and it and, and you he will and this is where these songs come from. You know, this is where where you'll you hear the language, the beautiful language of of, of our people, the Dene. And um and other languages for that matter, you know, other indigenous languages, when you hear that, it's beautiful, it's, it's, it's powerful. And so with that, I'd like to start off with the Protection Way Warrior song as we, um, as I honor, you know, our frontline um, warriors today with that song, with this song. <clears throat> Yitzkahu <laughs> Best of is ye had it echo. Yet who won't we ye? 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 Nay, oh, ha, eh, ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, 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 ah, Best got your left go, yet who won't we? Oh, ye go bits a windy echo, yet who won't we? Yet who won't we? Yet who won't we? Yet who won't we? Nay, oh, ha, eh, ah, 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 ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, eh, ah, eh, so <laughs> Na pa hi ten ne ka ne li ko yet ka hu wo wi ye ye 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 ne yo wo ha e e ya he ye 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 ha e e ya he ye ha e e ya he ye ye ne yo wo ha e e ya he ye 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 ha e e ya he ye ha e e ya he ye 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 <clears throat> so that uh, is the Protection Way Warrior song. So we um, forgot to mention that the Protection Way Warrior song is also a song about um, our monster slayers. And they were the, the my Topachishchen and Nagyet Yizgane, the two warrior twins. And it's a story, I won't go into full detail about it, but um, it's, it's a story, it's, these are, they're part of our creation stories and, and how um, they slayed the monsters, uh, the monsters that uh, once roamed among us and those monsters were uh, the monsters of greed, the monsters of gambling, the monsters of star, um, starvation, um, the monsters, you know, just like all the bad things, all the bad, 
the, the different monsters, um, even like right now with, with us, with this monster, this virus that is among us right now. Um, you know, I refer to a lot of our young folks, our, our, our young folks as the modern day monster slayers because of what they are doing to, to stand up against a lot of the injustices that we face. Um, and, you know, today in our society. And so it's, you know, we all can do our part to slay these monsters, these white, these monsters of white supremacy, these monsters, um, you know, these monsters that, that continue to roam among us, these, these monsters that, um, that uh, are part of these systems of oppression. And, um, you know, right, these monsters of racism, these monsters of gender-based violence, police violence, right? These are all monsters and we all have a role in being these modern day monster slayers and slaying these monsters. And so that's, that's also what this song, Protection Way Warrior Song is about. The, um, the next song that I would like to sing to you is a song about uh, clans. And this song is, um, I, I introduced myself to you. I, I said, I called, um, uh, said I, that I was of the Ashche clan, which is the Red Ochre Cheek clan. And the, um, the Red Ochre Cheek clan, uh, I'm the Red Ochre Cheek clan born for the African-American, which is the Nahithe. Um, it's a new term that, that, uh, that identifies our, um, our black relatives and those that I'm born for. And so na means those who have come across, hith, dark, calm, have overcome and persevered, ith, oneness, um, versus the old term, which um, just for educational purposes, I will share with you, it was used to be na keith jini or jini. And over time, that term has become uh, has become a derogatory racist term. And so this new term I looked into uh, was, it was passed down to me by uh, a Navajo practitioner. And, you know, he's a, a relative of mine, an uncle of mine. And I asked him, what kind of, you know, uh, I asked him, what kind, you know, is there a, 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 a a, a more enduring uh, term that we can we can identify uh, our black relatives uh, with, um, as this you know this other term has has over time just has you know become very cis and derogatory. And and growing up when you're hearing this term, you know is um, you know it's 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 it, it, it's a term that others right. It, it's it's a term that makes you feel excluded. And, and for us as Diné and um, as, as a lot of, you know, other indigenous societies, we're, uh, you know, it's, we're, our um, societies are based on eh, kinship. And, and so, so he said, you know, this is now in, in, in our ceremonies, we identify um, our black relatives with the term Nahiyah. So obviously this term is an old term if it's a term that you know, has, has, is, is used in, um, in the ceremonies. And so, and so that's my second clan. And then there's the, the, um, the uh, Nahiyah Dene, which is the Mexican clan. And those are my, my, uh, my maternal, that's my maternal clan. And then my paternal clan is um, the African-American again. So this song is the Klash Chit song, and it's a song that is um, about my first clan, the Red Ochre Chi clan. And I am, it's not just the one clan that I'm, that I'm, that I am related to. I am related to um, five, six other clans. And so those six other clans is the Klash Chit, Tsitna Jini, Kintla Chitni, Desh Chitni, Tsinaha and so, um, so those are those are the six clans, and that I'm related to. So when I introduce myself, and someone says, "Oh, I am Desh Chitney," and I say, "Oh, you're my, you know, you are my my relative. You were my my brother, my sister. You know, you were my relative." 
And, and so we establish that, that kinship through our clans. And so this is the, the Klaschche clan. <clears throat> Yane yanga, Tashi e atone e tanikle ye ya, Tashi e atone e tanikle ye ya. Sit not jenny, Tasha e bis tanikle ye ya. Kins the cheat needs a saki bis tanikle ye ya. Hey, Anna, hey, 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 Anna, hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> Is a son it asa it a nickle he Then a bit needs a sa e tanikli e hea. A denny on it a sa e bistanikli e hea. Hea na e e e e na e e e e e na e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e Ashe e atone e tanikli i hea. Ni hitene e tsa aki bis tanikli i hea. Ni hitene e tsa aki bis tanikli i hea. He ana e e e e ana e e e e ana e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e and if we're not related, then you, you know, eh is ongoing. So even if you're not related, depending on, on, um, I guess the age, uh, I would still refer to to them as as my you know, older brother, the older sister, or however they identify. So, um, so that you know that would that's that's the the, the uh, song. The next song that I would like to to share with you um, is because oh my gosh it's been we've been getting a lot of uh, rain um, lately and it's been really wonderful um, as this is the monsoon season and and it's been really good to just beautiful to hear it 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 is the thunder when it's like boom right the you to hear it 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 and so, Father Sky is um, from how I, I from what I, I, I understand and in, in how I was raised um, and taught is that the Father Sky is is the discipline. Is, he's, is a disciplinarian. So you know, we're told when it, when it's rain, when it's thundering outside, or when it's raining, you're not supposed to be running around outside. You stay inside and be respectful. You know, to um, to the earth, Mastani Hidmatan and Yevshin Hidmitska, because that's their time to to mate, and and so um, and of course, as a kid, you know, you don't really pay attention to that. You because as a kid, I would I remember like my cousins and I would go out and ride the um, the sheep and and. Uh, <laughs> And one time there was a lightning that, you know, that was not too far from us, but it, you know, it went right, right near us. And, and so we got in trouble for that. But, you know, that right there is the, is the, um, is the, um, is a discipline, is a discipline that takes place when you're not respectful to, to Yadil And so this song that I would like to, 
to share with you is called A Child of Water. <clears throat> and so this song describes all the different elements, the different elements like Nats Elid, um, the rainbow, um, Father Sky, Nastan Hima, um, Nilsaba Ad, female rain, Nilsaba male rain, um, Nilsaba Ad, female rain is the gentle rain, Nilsaba Ad is the like the more intense, intense rain. So those are just some of the, the examples of what the song is about. <clears throat> Be <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so this next uh, song that I would like to, to sing is a song about eh, kinship. When we uh, talk about eh and kinship, I think we, it's not only just our relationship to, to one another. Um, it's our relationship, as, if you, as you've heard in, in the songs that I've been singing, to Nahastan Hima, Mother Earth, Father Sky, and our non-human relatives. Even the littlest tiny bug <laughs> um, is our relative. Even, you know, you, one of my favorite insects, um, or creatures rather, are, are the, are, is the um, wulachi, because I like to like sit and watch them sometimes. And they're just, for them to be so little, they can carry so much. <laughs> and, and they work as a team. I wish our Navajo Nation government would do that. <laughs> our government in general. But <laughs> they work as a team, right? 
we could learn a lot from them. Um, and, and so it's, you know, it's, they're just such beautiful creatures. And, and I think there's so much that we can, we can learn from when it comes to um, even our horses. Yeah, our horses, our, our, our sheep. You know, the bedot is it the goats and, and the sheep, you know, and I, I grew up a sheep herder. So, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, that I enjoyed was during lambing season was, was hand feeding the, the, uh, you know, the babies, the, the baby sheep and the baby goats. And, um, and, and it would be 12 o'clock at night, you know, we would, I, we would be at midnight, my grandma and I would be sleeping and she would just jump up and say, you know, and she no. I you know, my grandma would get up at you know midnight and she would worry about her, you know, her um her lost sheep or her lost goat uh, during lambing season. And so she would go out and and um and look for you know, look for the, the sheep and the goat, and we would take a sheep with us. And we took the sheep because, you know, we, and we would, when we would find the, the mother and, and its baby, we would, you know, we couldn't touch it because, you know, because of the scent, um, or else the mother would, would well, not want the, its baby anymore. So we would carefully place the, you know, the, the, um, the sheet underneath the baby, and we would drag it all the way back up to the house, or not to the house, but to the, to the corral. And, um, and so, and so those were, you know, those are, um, beautiful memories that, you know, that I enjoy sharing about my, about my grandma. But this song is, um, the, the, uh, eh song. And my grandmother was a, a woman of, eh, she really was. Um, when I talk about, when I talk about, um, eh does not discriminate, I think of her. Because, you know, even as my grandmother, she was challenged by her own children. She was challenged by her own, her own relatives, her own community um, when she was raising me. And they would ask her, you know, and, you know, basically asking her, why are you raising that little black girl? And my grandmother always brought back to, to the center um, to the forefront of her responses. And she would say, you know, this is my grandbaby, this is my child, and I love her, that's why. And, um, and so I think right now, uh, during this pandemic, kinship is being strengthened on so many levels. And it's good because it's needed. Um, we're reminded by Nahastan Hima, right? I really feel Nahastan Hima is being our mother right now, and she's disciplining every single one of us, all of us, as her children. And she's saying, Sure, get sure. They say, Not, right? Listen, you know, this is, you know, this is, you know, I, I too am experiencing this with you. And so, um, and so we either have that, we're either going to listen or just continue on, you know, in, in, in a way that's not healthy, or we're going to make some necessary changes for our future, you know, for the, for the future of, of our, 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 our younger generation and those that are unborn. And, and so, you know, this is, I really believe that this is, uh, this is a this is a time where she's reminding us of of, of kinship. So this song is about that. It's about Keshiga walking through life, kinship. Where's my okay? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah,
So what's beautiful about eh is, as I, as, as I sang in the song, is that it is, um, we're strong, we're strengthened through it. Um, in hope lies in kinship, right? In eh. And compassion lies in, in kinship, in eh. And to rely on one another, which we're doing right now, you know, during this pandemic, we're being there for one another um, and supporting, you know, each other through this, um, you know, that to, 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 to depend, to rely, to be there for one another. And, and so it's, it's, it's beautiful, you know, to, to, to be able to, to um, to have like to come from a society that is that's like that's our powerful structure that's our powerful foundation, you know as Dene, um, you know that we have, um, you know to to that we operate on on a day to day basis and knowing that you know even as we, um, even as we come out of this you know once we come out of this pandemic that we'll be able to 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 reestablish that with with one another again. And hopefully it will be soon, you know, hopefully it will be soon. Um, but there's no, there's no eh in, in material things. There's no eh 
in money. There's only ka' in each other and nasta'an hima, other earth. We have to yitra, father sky, and our non-human relatives. And we should continue on that, on that path. So um, this next song that I would like to, to sing, let me see if I can I need to actually find that one. Um, is a song um, about the sacred elements and it's a <clears throat> it's a song about the sacred elements and I need to I haven't sang it in a while so this one I do need to find it okay. I can and adding this one. I kind of like this is little as uh, this is kind of informal. <laughs> I was asking Tosh, is this going to be informal? I have to. So let me see. Let me share this. There it is. Okay. I haven't seen this one in a while, but I'm, I'd like to share this one with you all before. Um, I'll sing a couple more songs. This will be uh, one of them, and then um, then I'd like to end with another another song about, about kinship, so. Hey, 
having me um, as a part of this um, Indigenous Ways performance. Um, Tosh was sharing with me that they've been doing this for quite some time and have had some uh, awesome performers and relatives who have been performing um, on the show. And so um, I'm very honored to be a part of it. And, and so thank you, Tosh, and, and to your partner as well for, for having me. <clears throat> <laughs> My voice is starting to give it a little bit. So as Tosh had mentioned earlier, um, I'm a mom. And so I am really busy <laughs> being a mom. But I love it. It's, it's, as I say, it's beautifully challenging. It's definitely taught me a lot about myself. And, um, and, uh, in, in, and, and, I just, I'm learning so much as, as a first time mom. And then of course my partner too. Um, and, uh, and he's just, you know, he's our little monster slayer and, and we're, you know, every day he's, it's funny. He's the one who tells us to get up in the morning. He's like, cook mom, make breakfast, you know? And so, um, he tells us, get up, get up. And so he's like a little, a little old soul. He's like a little Che. And, um, and so now like we, we, I, our days, of course, you, you're, you know, as a mom, you're in a routine. Um, we get up in the morning and, and we read books. We, he loves to read. So um, we read our books and it's funny because we get into our little debates about whether he wants me to read in, in Denebizad or in Bilagana Ketchen. And so I think he just does that because he knows that I'm like, Dota, the neck etcha go, the neck etcha go. And he's like, Bilagana Ketchen, Bilagana Ketchen, you know. So, um, so, um, so it's, it's, it's really, it's fun. I love being a mom. I really do. I, I, it's something that I've always wanted. And, you know, I'm there now. And, um, and so I just want to encourage all of our moms and dads out there to, um, to hang in there and, and uh, you know, to just spend time with your kids. This is the time to, to talk to them. If you know Deneb, if you know how to speak, this is, you know, they're like little sponges. They absorb everything and they remember everything and they'll, re they'll even remind you. Um, and so I've, I've been reading uh, this book, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot of research about what, how, you know, how do I do this? How do I do, you know, go about positive disciplining? How do I, um, you know, like there's just so much about parenting that I'm having to learn. And, and so I do a lot of research online and I got this book called Happy Parents, Happy Kids. And, and so, you know, one day I guess he saw that I was flustered and overwhelmed and, and, and kids are very intuitive. So they're, you know, they, they know. And so he's, he sits, he's sitting there watching me and he says, mom, read your book, happy kids, happy parents. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. You know, and, and so, you know, he's, our, he's my little reminder. He's my little reminder to just, it's okay, mom. It's just calm down. It's okay. You know? And, um, and so I just, you know, I think once you become a mom, that love that you have is just so, is just so deep, 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 deep. And, and every day, you know, he keeps us going. And, and, and so, um, so when I talk about, um, 
you know, Native liberation. Um, I think a lot about his future in that regard and what's going on right here, right now in our society in terms of, you know, this fight for justice, equality um, for all relatives so that we all can live a healthy and dignified life on our terms. And I think for, I want that and I think of that a hundred years from now for not just his generation, but for the generations um, to come. And so that's what we have to think about. You know, our ancestors, they thought that far ahead for us. They didn't just think five years from now or 10 years from now. They thought a hundred years from now. And so it's up to us now today to do that. And as I closed out with this song, I just want to leave you all with not only that thought, but also the thought of what it means to be a good relative. What does it mean to be a good relative? And how are we contributing to that? You know, there's a lot going on in our society, a lot going on in our world. And I've kind of had to take a, bit, a break from from um, social media because it can be overwhelming um, and and very you know like I know I would I have to I'll admit that these past couple of weeks have been really heartbreaking like I've just been, been my heart's been really heavy with what's been going on in our world um, but we have to keep going and we have to keep fighting and we and when we do that when we're fighting we're fighting for his generation and the generations to come. And we're fighting for what we foresee a hundred years from now in terms of native liberation and black liberation. So, and just for all people to be good relatives and to live a healthy, dignified life. And so again, eh, I'm wearing it right here. <laughs> through kinship we are strong so remembering that being a good relative to each other to nastan Hima, mother earth father sky in our non-human relatives so this last song that um that i would like to to sing is um is a song about eh, again and it's called Kepiyin. Hey na hey 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 na hey 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 na hey 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 na hey hey Hey, 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 hey. 
I wanted to emphasize the last part because it's hope. Right now, we are in that place. We're in that place of hope. Yeah. I can't hear. The world is a child. And in that, in that we come into the, the world from the east. And then that, in that direction lies our thought process. To the south is our young adulthood. In that direction is our planning. And in the direction of our secret mountain, um, to the west is the direction of adulthood. And that's where we're, many of us are. And to the north, where my grandmother once was, is the direction, that direction is hope. And then we return back to the east again as a child. And so we're in this place right now where we are hopeful on so many levels. And so I share that hope with you. I extend this eh to each and every one of you. And I look forward to this pandemic being over so I can hug, <laughs> so I can hug you all my relatives. And I just want to, um, you know, also be inclusive of, you know, of, of our, our disabled relatives um, our differently abled relatives or death relatives, you know, I just want to um, say thank you for sharing the space with me and, and with all of us here as relatives. So I hope that you enjoyed the songs. Take care of yourselves. Many blessings to you all from the songs and stay healthy. 
stay strong, remain vigilant, and be safe. Yeah. You have so much strength in your spirit just listening to you a cappello sing. You could feel all our ancestors and relations yes. in your vocals. Thank you for giving us so much hope tonight. Thank you for your walk. Thank you for your commitment and your dedication to carrying on what your ancestors have taught you. And I our. really appreciate <laughs> our ancestors. And thank you so much for honoring diversity because all the walls are down on this platform with indigenous ways. So everybody's welcome and you're beautiful. Our LGBTQI relatives. Yes. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. thank you very much. And we just love you, Red Milla. We always have and we always will. So my mom's on tonight from Chin Lee. So she just ah, loves Chin you. Lee. Yeah, Chin Lee, oh. Dan, Harry and Kathy on the list. So they are here for you. Yeah. Well, so thank you been... again, Red Milla. Sorry. This has been this has been healing for me too. So thank you all. Like I've this is yeah. I mean it's I think I I think when you just sometimes you just have to like singing is healing, right? It's healing. And so this is this is great. This is actually the first long concert that I've done. <laughs> so I was like, oh we yeah. feel very honored and very blessed. And it's a good sweet way to go into what is happening with Indigenous Ways virtual events. Uh, we've just experienced the extraordinary Red Mellow Cody in the concert series. And then also on Wednesdays, we have the Wisdom Circle. You know, believe it or not, next week is September. So the year is flying through very quickly. Uh, our guest that we have um, kicking off September is Evelyn Naranjo. She is one of the co-founders of Terrible Woman United, and she's going to be blessing us um, in the Wisdom Circle. She is from San Aldefonso Pueblo. Also, you'll notice that Friday, the concert series isn't there. Tasha and I have made an interesting and challenging choice since we started this on the 1st of April, uh, our Indigenous Ways virtual events. Um, Red Miller Clody has blessed us being the last performer in the Friday events. But don't panic. What we're trying to do is sort out what is a better platform and, and going rather than Zoom. Zoom is set up for meetings. Um, out of everyone, including Red Miller Cody, we have had five where the sound has been really lovely. The rest is like nails on the chalkboard kind of thing, which doesn't give justice to our extraordinary artists that we've been, uh, been blessing us through this doorway. So we're just taking a little bit of a sabbatical, but we'll keep you posted with what's going on. But in saying that, the following uh, Wednesday at the Wisdom Circle, we've got uh, Aleta Tolan, who is Dene, um, all the way from Lukachukai. Uh, she will be blessing us. She is deaf. So she'll be uh, teaching us through many ways uh, through the Wisdom Circle. This is all possible because of our sponsors, the First Peoples Fund, the National Endowments of Humanities, the National Endowment of the Arts, the New Mexico Arts, the Santa Fe City Arts Council Department, and the National Endowment of uh, the New Mexico Humanities Council. Also, we're very, very grateful to your individual support as well and making that possible so we can support all the artists as well as uh, the interpreters. Um, to make accessible available uh, to everyone. All of these events are archived. So if you go to indigenousways.org at the virtual events, you'll be able to see all 45 performers in the Wednesday Wisdom Circle as well as the Friday virtual events. And then down the bottom, you'll see all our social media. So if you're beaming in through the social media, please make sure you like one of our pages, whatever you're on. Um, and if you're not on our emailing list, please be sure 
um, to go on that as well. Uh, if you're able to, we know it's tricky. We do have PayPal, Venmo on our website. We've got a donate button and also we've got a physical address that's also in the Zoom links and also on the social media uh, posts that we blasted out as well. And then lastly, we have our Indigenous Ways uh, virtual events donations that went to our Black Mesa people, also known as Black Mountains, Lejeune where my mom was born, my grandmother was born, and where I have a home site lease. We've been able to do four relief runs, and through this platform, we've been able to raise over $25,000 worth of cleaning supplies, food. Uh, we've had uh, money come into the account to pitch in for the cleaning supplies. So we've taken water, food, cleaning supplies. It's been absolutely amazing. We want to thank all of you donors. This platform has been perfect for Black Mountain. We're going to keep you posted. We're not done with Black Mountain. We're taking a little break because the four runs were kind of hard on us. It was a beautiful, beautiful trip, but we will keep you posted. We got some very fun stuff happening for Black Mountain in October. We will keep you posted. Thank you. And this is all in honor of Shimasana, Margaret Dalton, who passed on June 8th this year at age 98. So this is all in honor of Margaret Dalton and all her brothers and sisters, all her brothers and sisters. She was one of 15. I have one uh, grandpa left and that's her baby brother, Tommy Begay Sr. And uh, otherwise, uh, got some beautiful ancestors up there. So what's also happening, which we're very blessed about, which we're adding into the concert series, is a um, partnership that we have with the Lanzac. They are hosting Kepmo, who's an extraordinary blues, American blues artist. He'll be performing September the 26th at 6.30. All the proceeds will benefit for nonprofits, Indigenous Ways being one of them. So we'll let you know more about that and what's going on there. So that'll be heading towards us going out in October back to Black Mountain before the winter sets in. But it's that wonderful time again. Uh, if you're in Zoom and you want to turn on your camera, now it is. I know Red Miller has stepped out for a minute if you want to come back in because people need to tell you some stuff. If you're in social media and you just want to chat something, we're also very conscious of our beautiful interpreter, Zol, who's just doing it herself tonight. So we kind of, if, if you've got something to say to Red Miller, please do it. Um, and then we're just going to shut shop. We appreciate everyone being here. Um, does anyone want to say anything before we wind up tonight? And don't forget to take your mute off. Well, Thanks so much for doing this, you guys. Um, as Elena knows, I am sort of in panic mode about uh, not having any more. But Red Miller, it was so lovely to hear your beautiful voice. And thank you. Thanks, Kitty. Well, um... I've heard about you for a long time, ever since you became the uh, uh, royalty down in uh, in uh, Diné country. But I, I must say, uh, I am really, really happy that I, I got to hear you. Uh, and I'm glad you're out and about. Your work is wonderful. Don't stop. We need to hear all indigenous voices around this planet. Absolutely. Period. And I'm glad I heard you tonight. Thank you. And join us in San Francisco. And if you feel like performing, please do. It's a way to get your work, your name out there. And then we can start doing more Zooms around the world and making connection. Even though I hate this technology. It's a killer technology. It's killing us. I hope we can work on the technology that won't. But as, soon, as long as we got this damn thing, let's make it work for us. Absolutely, Rich. I'd love Absolutely. to come out to perform out in San Francisco. Thank you. <laughs> well, you, can do it on, you can do it on Zoom, too. So uh, I got, I got the, in case you missed it, up on the top, I have how you can get to Zoom uh, on Tuesday, every first uh, Tuesday of the month up here in the city. So please check it out. Uh, check the website called The 1428 Poets. The 1428 Poets. The, I put the in there. And it'll take you to the web page down in the middle of the page. I, I put the info in. So everybody, everybody is welcome. Aww. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Beautiful, Richard. And if you have a look at Richard's name, it's going to be on the end there as well for those people in our social media.
Thanks, Rich. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you, Radmila. It was gorgeous, beautiful, food for the soul. And I put my long-winded comments in the chat. Thanks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Great. Christine you, Violet and Hilda say, it's been a lovely evening, beautiful music. Thank you for sharing. We are all sacred, all one. Blessings. Oh, There's I been a lot of you. emojis through the social media outlets. I've had a lot of people on my Facebook page, on the Indigenous Ways Facebook page, on Elena's Facebook page, and this will all be archived on our website, so we'll post it tomorrow. Those of you who have missed the concert, please go to the website, or you can go to YouTube, Instagram. It'll be there as well, so thank you very much. Also, I should add, my name is Richard Sandrell, but I went in with my middle name, Richard Allen, because they can direct all their hatred toward Richard Allen, leave Richard Sandrell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds perfect. Much love, Richard. Flo and or Christina, did you want to say something? Because your microphone's I off, did. Flo. I did. I wanted to thank Red Miller. Uh, I know I first met her at the Farmington Public Library when she came in to do some oh. guys with her beautiful music. And so um, thank you for doing this. And what a treat for us. Thank you so much. Thank you for for, for making it possible for us to hear her. Thank you so much. Oh. Good to see you, Red Miller. <laughs> Good to see you too. I remember going there with my grandma. Yes, I was going to tell you, you brought your grandma and then you shared uh, how the, um, actually, I think you were the first one to let me know how the wonderful papoose board worked and all its meaning. So it was such a treasure. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Christina, you've got the last word and then we'll shut shop. A beautiful sister from New York City. Yes, really. I just wanted to let you know that I did hear some of that and your voice is just beautiful. It's so nice. And just hearing that heartbeat, that drum, I just really enjoyed it so much. And it, it's so relaxing and calming. Um, it really makes me sad that this will be the last time for the concert series. I'm looking forward to what's coming up next and um, excited to get more news about it. Um, Tosh and Elena just providing so much from spring all the way now to the last uh, Friday of the summer season. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you to the interpreters. Really just wonderful interpreting. Um, and up to now, we've had some really wonderful people join and having wonderful deaf community members come and just building this indigenous community. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. You're awesome. Red yeah. Just uh, looking at your name, I've never seen that name before. I think it's so beautiful. So, um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> very unique name, like a very unique, beautiful woman of the earth. Beautiful woman of the earth. Mm -hmm. Keep singing your songs, Red Milla. Keep saying your prayers, and we are going to continue to love and support you all the way. Thank you. And thank you, everybody that has joined us tonight. So before we sign off, there's a couple of things. One, to support Red Miller and her wonderful habit and gifts that she's been blessed with called music, please go to her website, redmiller.net. Also, she's on Facebook, uh, same name, Red Miller Cody. Uh, like com. her page. Yeah, dot com. Um, Dot com. Oh, it's dot com. Thank you. So like the pages and uh, also tell your friends to buy merchandise and keep her in the uh, business. This is also possible. So let's please give it up for our wonderful interpreter, Zol, in making access available for all. Uh, but most importantly, for blessing us tonight, uh, all the way with her powerful words of how we do this together and in unity of surviving, of resilience, of where we have come from, but how we lead through song, through words, through spirit. Please let's give it up for one and only Red Miller Cody. We love you all. Thank you very much. And we'll see you Wednesday.
Yeah, Sorry, her. thank you, Alina. And and I know it's all dark in here. I'm like, thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right, let's give it up one more Highlight. time for Red Miller Cody. <laughs> everyone be safe. <laughs> Woo! And Tosh, Indigenous Way. Thank you, thank you, right, thank guys. you. Touch the earth, touch the earth, touch the earth.